Hi everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Here we are outside the Quickie Pal. Uh, we're Junior Agent Reyes. Uh, we found Ray last episode and uh, we sent her a dime and everything as well. And uh, now all we gotta do is, uh, if this works, use the dime in the phone and uh, phone Ashley Bluer. Ashley Bluer, I think. Looks like someone knew I was going to get stuck down here. Unless it, my kidnapper wrote that as a trap. It's got to be Only Ashley one Bluer. one way to find out, I guess. All right. So, we have to go find out what Ashley Bluer's number is. First, we need some more toilet. Look, I left the, the wet bandit strike again. I need some more toilet paper, just in case. Because we lost our last bit of toilet paper, if you remember. Perfect. Okay. So, it was uh, down here, the phone. We have to go back down here. And we have to check the phone book phone book for Blu Bluer or or Buer. It could be Buer, but it might be Bluer. So it was Ashley a Ash Ash Wait, Axel? Nice. Ashley. Ashley Bluer. Here she is. 6692. Alright. 6692, no problem. We got this. 6692. Okay, here we go. 6692, Ray. You ready for this? Okay, let's use the dime in the payphone. And let's dial 6692. Hello, Ashley? Help. I'm trapped in the sewer. Please call the authorities and let them know. You'll notify someone. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Okay. I think we're done here. Alright. I can pick up my dime again. That kind of worked? Does that mean we're we're out of here? Hopefully. I got an emergency call about someone being locked in the sewer. A Reno. I should have expected a Reno. It was you. I don't like being interrupted when wrestling is on. Uh-oh. Bad news, Sheriff. There are no donut arenas down here. Oh, slam This case doesn't dumped. seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office arena before you get hurt. Oh. There is a killer on the loose. That sounded like yeah, a threat. I'll run that up the home office arena flagpole. In the meantime, can you get me out of here? Arena. Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Why? Nothing about this town surprises me anymore. Don't you dare! No, oh, there's a bus leaving in a few hours. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Areno. Wow, God, he's he got really hostile all of a sudden. He got really hostile all of a sudden. He's just like, get the the heck out of here. And I'm just like, what is going on? Okay, so we now, let's go meet up with Reyes. Um, and let's see what's going on. Reyes, you're over here, right? You should be, you should be, there he is. Okay, Reyes. Now, we want Reyes to give the, um, bear repellent? No, the hotel, there, to Ray. Whatever. It's really good, Ray. Trust me. If you can get to the uh, to the hotel, that that is okay. And um, you give the specks of dust to Ray. for the dust. He's he's on dust duty. Meanwhile, um, Ray is on uh, everything else duty. Possibly. There's a circus flyer. There's a bit of toy. To oh look. There's. Let's give Ray's notebook back to Ray Thanks. as well. Thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. Okay, perfect. Now, let's look at our notebook here. We have to find the murder weapon. We have to fingerprint the murder weapon. We have to get the Fingertron report. We still have to do all this crap. We have to talk to Dolores as well, apparently. We have to talk to Ransom the Clown, too. I don't know how to get to these other places. We need a map. Alright. We need a map. That's one thing that we definitely need. Uh, we need... The bus is gonna come in a couple hours and we can maybe leave. We have no more film left either. Something's got to give now. Now that we've got her out of the sewers, uh, there's got to be a way to like mess around with those valves and stuff. Maybe, um, oh yeah. What kind of tube did we need? Hang on a second. 
it was him who had the info about the tube, right? Because he spoke to the... Ricky? Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tube Town. I need a WC-67. I'm looking for a tube. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Yeah, it was WC. And what is the make number? 67? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? That's right. Oh, yes. The Pigeon Brothers need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. Nice. Here, I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Well, that was fucking easy. Holy shit. Here Look you at go. This. Give the pigeons my regards. Ah, uh, peace out, Ray. Look at Junior Agent Reyes is what it's all about these days. Look at this. Who needs Ray? We didn't even need to rescue her. Look at this. Junior Agent saves the day with his special tube, his know-how, and his spunky, spunky attitude. All right, let's give uh, this to the um, the big pigeon. Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Do oh, fix. Fucking so Here's easy. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. Okay. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Okay. I wanted that wrench though. Is there no way that I can actually get it? Page and Brothers Plumbing, Electrical and Paranormal Investigations. Oh, I see. We don't monkey wretch around. I huh. see. Paranormal. Look us up in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. Oh. Okay. Good to know. Just in case there's any frights. All right. Here we go. We're going down A Street. Oh shit! Look. We've been... We've been watched the whole time. Strange. Leonard just looked so fucking happy for like no goddamn reason. But then I guess it's kind of like the way he is, isn't it? The Hitchin Post. Liquor, love, and awesome ribs. The bar's out of business. Hmm, huh, too bad. A root beer would have been nice. A root beer. Nickel News. Oh, here we go. Hey, what's up? Who's working here at Nickel News? Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Wow. Jeez. I guess nothing gets by the press. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff. Plus right. Plus the cheap suits. Okay. Mm, mostly the cheap suits. What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odd Reno. We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? We're here investigating the murder. Know anything? Not much. Just what I heard over the police scanner. Which Body was? found in the river. I'll send my best reporter to check it out in the morning. Know who my best reporter is? No. Um... <laughs> you? <sighs> you? You? <laughs> you? Clark Kent? Clark Kent? If this damn town wasn't such a podunk, I'd have a couple of Pulitzers by now. Wow. Um, we'll need a complete press blackout. <laughs> Jeez, do you offer home delivery? Nice chatting. Okay, we'll look. need a complete press blackout. Not with the First Amendment still in place. The core of a strong democracy is a strong press. Uh-oh. Don't you mean the Fifth? Don't you mean the Fifth Amendment? Nope. That sets out rules for indictment by grand jury in eminent domain and protects the right to due process. See how much you can learn from playing video games? Don't you mean the Fourth Amendment? Don't you mean the Fourth Amendment? No. That prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures and sets out requirements for search warrants based on probable cause. Don't you mean the 26th Don't Amendment? Don't you mean the 26th Amendment? Nope, that prohibits the denial of the right of U.S. citizens 18 years of age or older to vote on account of age. Um, do you do home delivery? Do you offer home delivery? Why? You plan on moving here? The town's got a charm to it. Okay. Um, do we... Okay, fine. Fine. Fine! What's the deal with your sheriff? Seems kind of odorino. He is an oddball, but eh, so is everyone around here. And it's only gotten worse since Chuck died. Poor Chuck. Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund? Chuck Edmund, the pillow magnet. <laughs> he pretty much ran this town since the 50s and owns the giant pillow factory. We have well, to go there. owned. He died a few days ago. His niece Dolores and her sister Lenore stand to inherit a fortune if they'll just stop fighting. Oh, wait. Well, it's not... S uh. Okay, what else do you know about Chuck? What else do you know about Chuck? 
He started the pillow factory with his brother Franklin in the late 30s to make pillows for the war effort. Pillows win wars was their slogan. Nice. The factory and Chuck were the center of the thimbleweed social scene of the 50s. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Chuck invested millions in automation and became an expert in AI. Agricultural investment? Agricultural investment? <laughs> Artificial intelligence. Uh, computers that can think. He started automating the whole town. People tell me it was like living in the future. That's one of his machines over there. The Copytron 3000. Then... What? what? <laughs> the big pillow factory fire happened and killed several workers, and the whole place was shut down. Many blamed the fire on over-automation and computer error. But I think Chuck manipulated the sheriff, and it was blamed on the security guard on duty at the time. But it was too late. Chuck was disgraced, and the factory's been closed for years. Oh. A dark shell of abandoned machinery. Oh, man, I can't wait to go rummage around in there. What do you know about the pillow factory security what guard? What do you know about the pillow factory security guard? Not much. He died in the fire and was blamed for the whole thing. But I have my doubts. I just need some evidence. And I can finish my big story and expose the whole thing. Nice. All right. Nice Peace. chatting. Got a murder to solve. Oh, look at this. It's a frame county map. It's a map of the tri thimbleweed Park County area. Do you know this map is a priceless first edition? Please don't touch. Oh, come on. We need this map. Kutenberg would be proud. Steve Gutenberg? It's too heavy. Okay, there's a sign here as well. And there's the copy tron. Thimbleweed Nickel. Established 19... <laughs> established 19... Nice, I like that. I like that a lot. These must contain journalistic gold. Okay, let's oh, open it. I don't want to open it. Why not? It's a color copy tron 3000. Okay, can we use this circus flyer and... I can't put it in there. Why not? Why not? What about this business I'd card? I'd better hold on to this until later. Okay, he can't put that... Well, I don't know why he can't put a big fucking poster. What What did that say? Walk to Botulism Scare at S&D Diner. Oh my god, no. No, please. Health inspectors cite hot dogs as source. Jesus, we, we both ate one of those. For Christ's sake. Riot at the Hitchin Post. Riot at the Hitchin Post after erroneous razor and this scumette sighting. <laughs> okay. And then there's Chuck Edmund wins a million dollars in Quickie Pal Lotto. No way. Using his lucky number, one, two, six. Oh, okay. I can read it fine from here. One, two, six. That's how we're going to win a million bucks, apparently. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm oh. waiting for a call about a woman on the road making noise. Right, okay. A woman on the road making noise. That's going to have something to do with... Oh, I wonder if we can, like, with the police scanner, when we do the attention all units, she's got a police scanner. She's waiting for a call about a woman on the road making noise. Okay, I have to test this. Hang on a second. I have to pick this speck of dust up first, though. But I have to test out this theory of mine that I've got that I've just developed just now. We're going to go up here to the Sheriff Arenos. Our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. No, we don't want to hear it, okay? What we would like to do is use the police tron. Attention all Attention, units. Attention all units. See the woman um, by the dirt road. Um... Just sitting there. Enough screwing around. I've oh. got a case to solve. Okay, you know what? I think it... What was... I think it could work. But we don't need to use it right now. But we... But we do! But we do! We need the map, right? Okay, what was it? It was use... Okay. Attention, old units. See the woman. Uh, near the diner. By the old circus. By the dirt road. With the broken down car. Making farting noises. Swinging a machete. With the broken down car. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Hang on a second. Attention, all units. Attention, all units. We, I've got this. Don't worry. See the woman by the dirt road. Swinging machete. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Okay, let's go find out exactly what she's waiting for. Because I think that she'll go out. She'll be like, oh, this is the hot scoop. I better go check it's it out. And while she's gone, I can break into into the into the nickel news. 
right? And steal the map. All right. Can Adam. I help you? Um, did you, where the fill it? Can, why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Why can't I take your map? I'm a federal agent. Okay, that's actually two questions. First, Fuck you, Natalie. being a federal agent doesn't mean you can waltz into a newspaper office and take their map. Of course uh, it does. We have a little thing called the Fourth Amendment. Oh, and shut second, up. That's a priceless original. If you want a map, check the quickie pal. I checked there already. As a private citizen, can I have your map? Can I, as a <laughs> private citizen, please have your map? Nope. It's a priceless original. Oh, we're going to steal that shit. Okay, fine. Nice chatting. Got Please don't mess with the police scanner. Okay. I'm waiting for a call about a woman on the road making noise. Making noise! All right. It was making noise. I totally forgot. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, Natalie. It's time to get pranked. Bro, we're gonna prank you hard. That's right. We're gonna go up here. Oh, man. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. All right, let's use the Police Tron 3000. Attention, old units. Uh, see the woman by the dirt road making fart noises. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. <gasps> I sure hope no one tries to touch my map while I'm away. Oh my god. That you know this this game is easy as hell. Holy crap. Like I, I'm figuring this maybe it's just because I've played so many adventure games before in the past, that's why I'm so good at them, but like look at this. No fucking problem. She's She's I know it's beautiful, but you can't remove it. What the hell? Okay, I'll tell you what we have to do instead then. We're gonna have to enlist I need the help. To stay focused and solve this murder so I can All right, Ray. We need you. We need you big time. We gotta do it this way this time now, because sadly, Junior Agent Reyes has screwed up the whole goddamn thing. Now she knows that it's a prank. Okay, you get on the radio. We're gonna do some double action here. Okay, but before you bef before you do it, let's make sure that it's the same one, okay? Please don't mess with the police scanner. Right. I'm waiting for a call about yeah. a woman by the diner and a possible car accident. Right, gotcha. Okay, let, now let's go to the map again. Okay, a woman by the diner and a possible car accident. Gotcha. Woman by the diner. Attention all units. See the woman, um, by the, near the diner, about a fender bender. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. Don't you touch my map. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Got it. Damn. Hello. Just leaving? That's right. I assume that's a map in your pocket, and you're not just glad to see me. Oh shit. Hmm. I have to make a Please copy of it. return it to its frame. I have to use the copytron. Okay. Thank you. Well, that last story was a bust. A little bit, bit more difficult than I than I thought. Okay, Maybe the but next still one will be better. It, we're on the right track here. All right, Reyes. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about right. a woman on the road and a possible car accident. On the road and a possible car accident. No problem. Okay, Ray, work your magic. We're using a walkie-talkie here to communicate. Ray. Attention all units. Attention all units. See the woman by the road with the broken down car. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. All right, I'll Natalie. be back soon. Get the Don't fuck you out of touch here. my map. Yeah, no, I won't touch it. I'm gonna make a copy of it though. Hell yeah. Okay, this is gonna be sweet. I can't wait. All right, let's pick up the map. Now let's use the map in the in the Copytron 3000. Okay, now let's use. The Copytron takes nickels. Oh, you fucking! Are you serious? Ray? <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Ray's got the nickel. All right, Ray. This is an emergency. You got to get down here. Lickety split. We got to... We have a situation whereby... Shit, the map is back up. All right, you know what? Let's give... Oh, wait. It's a... That's a dime, though. Thanks. Wait, that's a dime. That's not a nickel. It only takes nickels. Fucking serious? How am I supposed to get a? F oh my god! All right, it's a lot harder than I thought it was. I spoke too soon, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ! All right, well listen, 
We'll be back next time where we figure out how to get a nickel um, from our dime. We, we, we should be due two nickels uh, for our dime if we can change it, maybe at the, at the Quickie Pal. I'll head over there and do it, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll try this old prank again and see if we can get uh, a map so that we can get out of the town and go to the Pillow Factory and uh, the hotel and, uh, and stuff like that. Wait, I think the hotel is just down the road from here. Possibly. We'll have to check that out too. We're sidetracked. Anyway, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.